Scientists have determined the consistency of magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera using seismic waves, and the reservoir is filled with slurry that does not pose a threat of an eruption in the near future. The amount of melted rock beneath the Yellowstone supervolcanoes is much higher than previously thought. A new study finds Although researchers say there are no signs of an impending eruption, the discovery provides a more detailed look at what's happening in the massive magma chamber beneath the National Park. Far from being a fine mixture of molten rock, magma reservoirs contain large amounts of solid rock, semi-liquid crystals, gases, and other volatile substances. This magmatic slurry is very dynamic, but tends to emerge from underground when the proportion of liquid or melt exceeds a certain threshold. Previous research shows that eruptions usually occur when at least 50% of the space in the magma reservoir above the layers of flat magma pockets that are stacked on top of each other is filled with melt. The magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone volcanoes consists of two shallow reservoir chambers near the surface that are about 55 miles 90 kilometers, long and 25 miles 40 kilometers wide, and a deeper chamber that is about 4.5 times larger. Although the deeper reservoir contains about 2% melt, the upper chamber contains much more. A study published in Science in December 2022 put the melt proportion at between 16% and 20%. Geophysicist and postdoctoral researcher at the Swiss Seismological Service at the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich and colleagues found the percentage was much higher. The team used seismic wave data to assess the texture and composition of the upper magma reservoir, which is about 3 miles, 5 kilometers, deep in Yellowstone. The results, published June 8 in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters, show that the upper chamber consists of 28% melt, 8% to 12% more than the 2022 estimate, which was found by a different method. What we found was a portion of the phase there is not enough liquid for an eruption to occur in the near future. Although we found a much higher portion of liquid than previously found, the amount is still only 28%. So, to the best of our knowledge, Yellowstone will not experience an eruption anytime soon. Calculating the proportion of fluid in a magma reservoir could help scientists evaluate the risk of volcanic eruptions elsewhere. It's important to understand the potential for eruptions. It may not have happened with Yellowstone so far, but you can apply the same method to other magma systems that are more prone to eruptions, and some that have already erupted. The methodology used for the study is revolutionary in the detail and resolution it allows, said Michael Poland, a research geophysicist and scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcanoes Observatory. The magma in Yellowstone and other magmatic systems is like mush. We often call it magmatic slurry to convey the impression that it is not a 100% liquid ball, but also contains a lot of solid material. In Yellowstone's case, it is much more solid than liquid material. Despite recent breakthroughs, scientists cannot be sure what exactly is hidden beneath the supervolcanoes. We look forward to interpretation along with other geophysical data to find out, for example, whether we are just melting or whether there are gases, volatile substances, or anything else that will help us understand the dynamics of the eruption.